is. Here we go. Race number 13 is underway. The second half for the Arkansas Auto Park Cup Series season is underway here at Rockingham. UK. In a turn number one, Michael Block, one of the best drivers on this circuit in the series, lead on the pole. His teammate Chris Walker in the back. Oh, we got a pro back there. I see Dylan Young and somebody else. That may have been Sean Galligan, but we got a slow, slow pile. Turn two, and that was Sean Galligan, it looks like. And uh, is caution out? No, caution will not come out. Huh. Someone's in the pits, I think. I saw somebody go in the pits. That may have been Guerrero. I'm trying to make sure. There's Nicholas Guerrero. Nicholas Guerrero in the pits. As Dylan Young and Sean Galligan started in the top ten. Reckless as hell. here in slow mo. Oh, look at Nick Mays. Nick Mays just dive bombed all the way. He went for fourth there. He dive bombs, gets into the two, knocks Dylan Young into Sean Galligan. And got a piece of Noah Hart as well. And wow, Dylan Young comes right to the pack. Michael slams on the brakes. And luckily, everybody manages to avoid that crashing. But Nick Mays, very aggressive move at the start. He must be very, very frustrated with how his season is going so far. So All that commotion has promoted Jason Tross to first, but Noah Hart, who got involved in an incident, has moved up to second and is now going for a lead against Tross, and he dives straight down to the floor, and Noah Hart will take the lead. Michael Block and the Max fall in behind. And Noah Hart, who has nine career wins. Tonight could, today could be the day. Could he get... And win number 10, the first ever driver to get double digit wins. Perhaps he's got a good car. Oh boy, Fuller and Block out a really decent battle right now. Uh, here, oh, here, this is your top two in points right here. Matthew Fuller and Charlie by Brosses in the nine. Fuller is trying to take the points by Brosses. He closed up tiny bits of by Brosses. If he can get the good up front, he could potentially take the points lead here tonight. Or today. Now, it depends on where you live. But uh, Jacob yeah. Anthony, who currently sits 15th in the points, is running in the back here. Well, sort of mid pack here. And Gene Sipper! I mean, that's not Gene Sipper. Oh, God, that's not Gene Sipper. That's some asshole. Oh, God. Oh, God. There they go. There they go. And Daniel Day into the wall. And that's a big four car wreck. Shelton involved. Alex Sound. There goes McWord and Nick Smith. They spin. And another caution comes out, and Shelton's involved, and a good chunk of cars get involved in that wreck. I don't know why this is still such Gene Stamper, even though she's suspended. <laughs> well, my bad. As we head back to the green, they're going to around on the bottom because he is a lap down. Noah Hart will lead them back to the flag. Gigi Max in second, and we are back on the green. Hart got a good jump there, but so did Demax in the turn one. Top three, all Arkansas legends in their own right. Mace, one of the uh, Nick Mace, one of the greatest Arkansas drivers of all time. And third, he's been struggling this season. He is a former Dupont Cup Series champion. Max Noah Hart, legend in their own right. As we look through the field here, Matthew Fuller trying to get up to the nine. He cannot let Mike Rosses gain any more points on him. Jerry Guerrero is having to actually not a bad run. Three wide there. Three wide for 13. And Perkins will go to 13. I mean 15. I mean 14. My bad. I can't read. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Buddy. Okay. Chris LeVere almost got involved in a wreck there. He's currently in the top 20. Good lord. Mizuki holding a pretty strong run in the 81 car. He's currently fifth. Mizuki currently sits 22nd, 22nd in the, uh, 22nd in the points, and uh, his teammate Unimax is right up there in, the, in front of him. Mizuki could get a good run. He could potentially win this as Nick Mace has captured the lead from Noah Hart. Nick Mace, he has only one DuPont Cup Series win, and that was back in our first ever season when he won an 8 bowl. And then the following season, he won the Season 2 Championship. And hasn't had much success ever since. 
well, the Nipanko Shoes, of course. Lamas has just really had a horrible season thus far. He's currently 26 to the points, but he is in the top seven. But multiple times, Cody Lamas has been up in the front and has just lost it due to pit issues or car failures. It's just not been a happy season for Lamas. And another what happens to the season, he, that team really needs to start stepping it up. Halfway through, Nick Mason and Noah Hart have just been having a dog fight with each other for this lead. As Charlie Pipe Ross is in the nine, and quietly approaches in third. These two have been at each other's legs this whole entire race. These two are really good friends. Especially Noah, I mean, he's married to freaking Mason's sister Ashley, anyways. So, oh, pit stops begin as Pipe Ross heads down into the pits. Pit stops. First couple drivers to bite. After this round of pit stops, Noah Hart's pit crew gave him probably one of the quickest pit stops I've seen in my entire life. F47 bolted right ahead of Demax, who's in second, Nick Mason third, Fibros is fourth, and Kobe Lamas fifth. Washer sixth. Oh my oh, oh what is Tross doing? He dives down into his uh sort of enemies, I guess. Where is Fibros though? But uh Fuller really needs to start hurrying because he cannot let Fibrosas gain any points and with less than 20 laps to go, it's really go time. Whoa, Tross battling with the 6 very aggressively there. Jeep Baskinger holds a solid 10th place right now in the one car. He's been on a roll as of late. With Minizuki and Perkins battling for 11th. Here's two of the Harper Warsports teammates of Zach Breyer and Tenno Akowski. Chris Lavera battling with his good friend William Duncan. He passed right by his teammates. You're dealing with the slow car of Sean Galligan. As the 20 car continuing to move up, it still says graphics, but it is Chris Louvier. I swear to God, it sounds like a French name. Michael Block is starting on the pole, has fallen to the mid pack, unfortunately. Michael Block's team has just been struggling the pit stops this season. I mean, it's very unfortunate that that's been happening to that team. And it currently sits seventh in the points, so I don't think it's really their fault entirely. Here, Nick Mace is retired from the race, and we're finding out why here. Let's take a look. Oh, Mace just drives straight into the 11, and he oh, wrecked himself and almost got into the air as Vince and Allen continued on, but no caution came out for that. Very odd, no caution for that. that wow, I would have called a caution for that. That was kind of ridiculous, but... Nicholas Guerrero is already having a bad day, and it gets in the Guerrero is somehow sitting in 15th. His teammate William Duncan right behind. There goes Nokowski, and he turns the 20. Wow, and Nokowski turns the 20. Will that bring out the caution this time? It will. It will bring out the caution. And that was not what Noah Hart wanted to see. He was pulling away from the 92, and that's going to shake things up for sure. Here we go. Hart leads into the flag. Now Max McMace right behind. Going to be seven, uh, eight laps to settle this. There's Noah Hart trying to hold on from Eugene to Max. And here comes Chris Walker. Look at Washer flying right now. Look at Washer go. He's going for it right now. And Chris Washer flying and gets past Nick Mace. Oh, I look at Tross. Going to go for three wide because why not? And Nick Mason pulls away. But Tross continues to push. And Demax and Noah Hart have pulled away from the pack. And Demax is closing on the 47. Tross goes right on by. And Fuller, now ahead of his championship rival. Driver Frost is he's being forced backwards. The night car goes backwards as Fuller trying to take the points lead. As Demax cowers onto the 47. Four laps ago, Demax is pouring everything he can on the 47. Meanwhile, in third, Tross trying to close in the gap. He is closing very slowly, but he is. Baskinger currently sits in fourth place. Chris Washer holds fifth, said Cole. Fuller trying to work with his teammate. Zach Rogers could get, potentially get a top 10 as Nick Mace is falling backwards. And so is Fibrosis.
Hart still leads. Can he hold White on? White flag in the air for Noah Hart as Demax trying desperately to catch the 47. Demax won here last season. He's trying to go back to back. He won the second race. He won the second dual race here last season. And now, if he can get the run the 47, he can make one last ditch effort. Coming into the final turn, I think Noah Hart is about to make history. Noah Hart is going to hold up Eugene Max and will be the first ever to punch his series driver to get double digit wins. Noah Hart wins here at Rockingham. History has been made. Win number 10 for Noah Hart. And his second win of the season breaks the all time, well, he breaks a record for sure. Good stuff by Noah Hart right there. Win number 10. A huge, huge accomplishment for him. So many times he's won. So many times he's not been in the championship hunt. But Noah Hart becomes the first Derek Hunter Series driver to win more than nine races to hit double digits. It's a huge milestone for any driver out there. And uh, it was a good day for him. And uh, congratulations to Noah Hart. And we still have a second race to go to in this double header tonight. So we will see you guys in that double header. Congratulations, Noah Hart. Let's see if you can get 11 next time. Flags back out for race number two of the weekend, and Fibrosis got the ball. It's Daniel Day on the outside in the turn one, and your top two points are about to be one and two again. Matthew Fuller, after that race, took the points lead. Matthew Fuller is now the points leader for Fibrosis. Fibrosis is now seven points behind the six. So now it's up to Fibrosis to do the best he can. Get a great finish here today and try and regain some of his lost points. Noah Hart has switched to a different scheme like a couple of other drivers have as well. It's like, oh, whoa, oh, wow, Guerrero just cut off that 47. Noah Hart earlier today made an incredible history by winning his 10th career race, the first ever driver to do that in the history of the Buck Up series. And he's trying to make it 11 here tonight. And here we go, top two in points, one on one against each other for the lead as Matthew Fuller takes the lead and here comes Jason Tross in the four. Tross in the four, if I remember correctly, he finishes third in the last race. He is not in the mood to finish third again. He goes for the lead, third to first maybe. He goes for it and Tross to the lead. Eugene Max, he gained points on both by Brawls and Fuller. He's trying to get them back, if he can somehow get back into this championship fight. He's working on fibrosis, that's the first good step right there. My goodness. Here and Alex Salad wrecked earlier today. As of, oh, whoa, whoa, there they go again. Oh, hard, hard hit for the 20 of Levere, and he's going to go into the pack again. No one hit him. Oh, God, vicious hit from Alex Hawkins. Smashed him right in half. And an awful wreck. Good lord. That was crazy. Scary too. And Fuller leads. Looks again here. Allen just goes straight into the back of the 20. Hits all. Oh, that was a vicious driver side hit. And then it just gets a lot worse from there. Oh, just drilled by the 68 of Hawkins there. Good Lord, Looking at man. this hit here. Try, trying to check to see if it's driver's side or not. Yeah, it is driver's side. Oh, wow. Drilled that 20 car. Right in the driver's side right there. And the probably best view we can get right now of that hit is of Alex Hawkins. So, let's take a look at that hit. Oh, God, that was a big clip. It didn't really look like he hit him exactly where the driver would be, but I think that was a pretty big enough hit to inflict some damage. He 
Yeah, I just barely got the driver area. Hopefully, we are hoping Crystal Veer is alright. We are hearing that he is being taken to the hospital, but we're not too sure of his condition at the moment. We will update further in the race. Matthew Fuller leads as we head back to the green. And he jumped that really good. He blasted off, and Fuller is determined to win this race today. Well, looky here. Look who has decided to show up and challenge Michael Block for fifth. That is the 88 of Jerry Guerrero. Where the heck did he come from? I mean, he started at six, but he's actually holding his spot. Jerry Guerrero is running for Rookie of the Year. He currently sits 27th in the points. He's second in the Rookie of the Year points behind Nick Smith, who's 18th in the points. Jerry Guerrero impressing. They've got a great car here today. If they could somehow win this, it would be huge. Probably one of the biggest upsets in the history of the Puck Up Series if you can pull this off. As Demax moves to second and looking for Fuller as a token as well as Tross falls back really quickly. Uh, we are hearing that William Duncan is incredibly furious. We're hearing that he's playing on dumping the 71 if he can get to him. Daniel Day is the owner of Day Motorsports, which is what Alex Allen's car is, and that was the car that turned the 20. And I imagine that Duncan's got quite a few words to say to that 71 car, or Alex Allen overall. So if Duncan somehow gets up to day, this could end really badly. And Jerry Guerrero pushing as hard as he can to stay in the top 10. Look at this, go for three wide. Gallagher wants to make it four wide. He thinks better of it, but Jerry Guerrero throwing in everything at everybody right now. He's doing the best he can to hold his spot as we go through the field here. Anna Shelton got involved in the big one earlier today. And she's trying to work her way back up to make up lost ground in the points. Good lord. Daniel Day! Oh, whoa! That was close. That could have been bad. It was Block and Fuller got together as Daniel Day is the leader. John Perkins is moving his way through the field right now. Perkins has not had a good season thus far. He currently sits 31st, uh, 32nd for points. My apologies, but not a good season for the uh, American 700 winner and the Sony Cup Series champion. It's Noah Hart. Really not performing too well compared to earlier today. And uh, that's, he's currently 17, so I'm kind of doubting his ability to win this race. Nick Smith currently 20. Actually, I made a mistake earlier. I said 18 of the points. He's actually 22nd of the points. Once again, my apologies for number errors. I was reading it wrong. But Nick Smith is the best rookie, and he is the league rookie of the year, and he actually has been quite consistent this season for a rookie. Probably one of the better rookies we've had in a while. And uh, that, uh, and four cars got some okay finishes. He's gotten a couple of, he's gotten like two top ten finishes so far this season. Oh boy, yeah, Nick Mason. Seth Cole getting together there. That was close. That was right. Meanwhile, all hell is breaking loose for the elusive and amazing and important second place position. Very important spot. Four cars just beating and banging. Actually, make that five. Could be six if Duncan gets up to him. But they are fighting with fury to get second place right now. And meanwhile, in the day, just leads and pulls away on and on again. Just Nick Smith. Continuing to work his way through the pack and the game is slowing for some reason as oh boy Nick Smith and her and his teammate Deanna Shelton doing pretty well this far. They're both in the top 20 Jerry Guerrero continuing to impress everybody as he currently holds eighth place at the moment Daniel Day still leads but Galligan and Michael Block are gaining on that 71 car, here they come into the pit road, and Daniel Day, the leader, pits. And, uh, very, very important, got a pit. Very similar to last race, pretty much the same lap when they had to pit, and Jerry Guerrero stays out. Oh boy, uh, there's lap cars up ahead. Uh, this could be bad as Chris Washer and Nick Mace battling one on one here. Oh, slide, 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 burn the paint is up. Oh my god, Nick Mace in the air, double barrel roll, and he ends up on his roof. 
Nick Mace flying into the air. Oh, Vincent out with a huge dot right into Dutta. And oh boy, oh Tang, others slamming and sliding. Oh, got McGuire plowing the 15. PJ Williams with a hard shove. Awful wreck. Halfway through this wreck, and caution is out. Horrible wreck. That man, that, that's the worst. Oh my god! Daniel Day, the leader, just wrecked his teammate and sent him flying and basking his on his roof. All hell is broken loose. By God, Koei Lamas with a ton of damage. What the hell just happened? Calamity. That may have been the worst wreck in a long, long time in the Pac Up series. Take a look at the replay here. Nick Mace. See, Washer dives under the 18, then they slide, and then Burn just comes right up into him, and then, oh my god, that was an awful hit. Right into the catch fence, double barrel roll, and this is where all hell's just gonna break loose, and Vincent Allen just plowing right into the back, and oh, oh, Min is uh, Galgan, Tang, several others involved there. I saw somebody else. Oh, Baskinger just clips him. PJ Williams doesn't even bother to try and avoid that. He just drills the back of McWhirt. Good lord. This is what happened with Daniel Day. Now, Daniel Day is fourth at this point, and he just drills right into his teammate, Jay Baskinger, ruining his day and making Baskingers a lot worse than it already was. And that was a bad driver side swipe, and Llamas got involved in that one somehow. I didn't get a good, we didn't see it, but Llamas was involved, so let's go to Llamas and see how, what happened to him exactly. I mean, we, oh, he just slams to the ricket and then right into the roof of the one car. But by God, that was an awful wreck. After a two hour red flag, Eugene Max will get this sorrowful race back underway. Jacob Antony somehow resigns somewhere up there. And by God, what an awful of night going on right now. Mr. Max is currently the, uh, well, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> who is the leader? Let's find out. That's Michael Block, who's the leader in Calamity again. Oh, four wide gouts that call into the wall, and Zach Rogers joins them. And caution out for that. Did they wreck? Uh, what the? The fuck? Hey, it's me. That's me. Hi. Michael Block, currently the leader right now after that sturdy star. I apologize to everybody who thought Dean Max was the leader. But Michael Block leads, and look who is second right behind. That is Jerry Guerrera in the 88. Jerry Guerrera, possible upset alert. This Charles Sanford third. And we have gotten an update on the 20 cars condition. Chris Levera has been taken to the medical center. And uh, whatever state we are in, uh, whatever city we are in, I forget, but I guess Rockingham. They've taken him to the local hospital. He is breathing, he is conscious, he is talking to people, he is being checked up, and we are not too sure exactly if there's any injury at all. But Block currently is the leader. And with less than 20 laps to go, Jerry Guerrero has a lot of uh, ground to make up on the 29. As we will see as we get all cautions out or something. Cautions out. And we're hearing it's a debris caution. I'm guessing that's from the set pole car. I guess. Oh, magic! And magic! Line, 11 laps to go. Michael Block will lead Jerry Guerrero. Charles Sanford third, and we are back in the green for the turn number one. By Ross is trying to get his lap back here with Cavanero, his teammate. And all hell's gonna break loose at this point. We have got an update. Nick Mace is fine. He is out of the car breathing. They think they're not the center. We're hearing has a lot of bruising, but Jerry Guerrero to the lead. Jerry Guerrero, the rookie, takes the lead from Michael Block. Holy cow, and by Brosses, will he move out of the 88's way? Jerry Guerrero, possible upset alert. Trying to pull off one of the biggest upset wins in the history of the Puck Up series here today at Rockingham. J. 
Jerry Guerrero has been in the top 10 all day long. If he could just hold on, it'd be an incredible, it'd be an incredible finish. Sean Gallagher fourth, Fuller fifth. Charles Jackson is somehow in the top 10. Dylan Young in the top 10. Nick Smith in eighth. Kat Skavnicki up to ninth. William Duncan up to 10th. Been a pretty good day so far for a lot of drivers who really need some good runs, but very fortunate for a lot of drivers, other drivers here Like a block going for the lead against Jerry Guerrero with less than 10 laps to go. Guerrero and Block. Michael Block going after the 88 here. Gets in room contact there and then goes the 88. 88 spin hard into the wall. The rookie Jerry Guerrero into the wall. And he's gonna ricochet back up to the track. Watch out. Oh, Dylan Young, huge plow. Perkins involved. Dylan Young wrecks and there goes another big crash. And Perkins is blowing up and Michael Block just turned. The 88 of Jerry Guerrero. So we take a look at this again here. In slow mo. Block just goes straight into the 88. Like he didn't even let off. He just dives into the 88. Tried to make a pass, but he doesn't even let off to try and let him go. He just does not. He just hooks him and keeps hooking him and he puts him in the wall. And Jerry Guerrero, who's on his way to provide one of the best efforts by a rookie in the history of DuPont Cup Series. His day gets ruined by Michael Block. And I'll tell you what, that is not going to be a popular moment for Michael Block. This is where Dylan Young, this, he, this is incredibly lucky that Guerrero, this was not a driver's side hit. Plowed and right into there. Perkins just clips the two, and that's when he blows up. Look at Dally just slide to avoid that. Dally ripped that turn to avoid that incident. Dally did a good job of driving, but oh man, controversy. Coming to the line, Michael Block leads with Matthew Fuller and Charles Sanford behind. It's going to be a three lap dash for the win. Everybody's rooting against Block right now. He just took out Jerry Guerrero. Fuller trying to make a move. Here comes Charles Sanford diving down for second. He wants a piece of Michael Block, especially since Sanford is the owner of Jerry Guerrero. And I cannot imagine how furious that 24 car is going to be right now. Sanford pushing as hard as he can. I think he, I think he just wants to turn that 29. I don't think he cares about winning. He just wants to get that 29 wrecked. Two laps to go, Michael Block, can he hold on? As he is pulling from the 24, it's Charles Jackson in third, trying to get to second with John Galligan right behind. Cavanero is a few laps down, but he's currently in 16. Nick Smith in sixth place right now, he's currently the best performing rookie on the track. And Smith's gonna make a bold move against the 91. Coming to the white flag here. Jacob Anthony actually doing pretty good in 11th place right now, but white flag is out for Michael Block as Charles Jackson moves to second, right on by the 24. And I think that 24 may have an issue as he's falling back quite rapidly. Michael Block and probably one of the most controversial finishes in the history of the DuPont Cup Series heads into the final turn and it looks like barring any issues, Michael Block will score his seventh career DuPont Cup Series win here at Rockingham. And definitely going to be a very unpopular victory. Man, that is not going to sit well with a lot of fans. Definitely not going to sit well with S3, for sure. Sanford will finish fourth. Good God. Crazy weekend for sure and a crazy second race. As we hope that the drivers all involved and the wrecks are all okay. I guess congratulations to Michael Block, although I'm kind of doubting he deserves a congratulations for that one.